Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the opacity uh, option of a layer to merge two layers together uh, in quite an effective way. So the, I, for this I'm using one image which is just some text so if I click and move this around you'll see it's just a bit block of text uh, is just the snapshot from the uh, Magna Carta that I've uh, stolen. Um, again, using the Google Creative Commons uh, filter. Uh, and then I've got a picture of the statue from the Google Creative Commons filter as well. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I've put this text on top. What I wanted to do is kind of almost look like it's drawn on top of the statue. So at the moment, it's very solid. I don't really like the look of it because it just looks like I've stuck a picture of writing over the top of a statue which is what I have done. So what I'm going to do is on my layer here I'm going to select my layer with the with the writing. I'm going to click on the opacity and I change the slider down. And What you'll notice is as I change the slider more and more of the picture behind starts to show through. Uh, so I'm going to put it to about uh, 50, 50, 52%, 53%, there we go. And now you'll see that my writing's kind of merged into the statue uh, and kind of looks a little bit like uh, it's written on it. Still looks a bit odd because it's a bit square, so let's put a clipping mask on uh, and then let's just use our paintbrush with the black to get rid of some of the bits around the outside, let's put it up just on the face, cut it off the edges of the face a bit and take it off of the crown at the top as well. And I'm probably just going to do a slight bit of taking off on the nose just to make the nose look a bit more prominent and a little bit on the lips. There we go. Uh, and now you can see that it's kind of quite nicely merged in to the image and it's like it's literally part of the statue. Um, and this opacity property you'll see kind of all over the place. So you'll see it in our different options for brush types. You see it in the gradients, you see it in the stamps, you see it all over the place. And what it does is it just changes how much of the the layer behind it you're able to see. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions drop them in the comments below. You'll probably get a better idea for how we use it going into future tutorials because it's something that comes props up quite often. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, we're going to be showing you about the different uh, layer types. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.